السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته it is April 26 <laughs> is it 26? no 27 because I thought that yesterday was the 25th but anyway happy birthday Hamza Kito and Elijah Hito uh, what I wanted to talk about today is two different subjects but let me start with the first one. 1997 to 1999. I was, or, or to 2000. I was trying to get, actually, Jennifer wanted to have the boys stay with us so you know they can uh, Omar and Hamza because at the time was Mr. Billingham stepdad and his son and Mr. Billingham was abusing my boys and he got in Jennifer face a couple of times when she went to pick them up. She called me one time. I was at work and uh, I was uh, person for that at the time. And then I took off right away and I went to there. And I, uh, of course, you know, I did that many times because back then and until now I don't really care what the person the mom does it's her freedom to choose whoever she wants to be with however my boys or my daughters are not gonna be subject to abuse because she has someone in her life but anyway that was back then the reason, I remember very vividly, I have a attorney, I don't really know her name, she probably is gone, she was very old Jewish lady, she was very nice and kind, and during the battle for, well, I would try, I tried to get 50-50 legal, and uh, which it has been for many years. Uh, you know, 50-50, and uh, so they can stay there and, you know, we can drop them off. That's why I moved to, we moved to Pinion Hills to be halfway from my work and from where my boys live at the time, Lancaster. But anyway, before that was somebody else, but uh, let's just focus. My attorney, my lawyer, this nice old lady, told me, Mohammed, I just wanted to warn you that you are not going to win any cases here. You're not going to win anywhere because this town, everybody knows everybody and things goes in a certain way. It's all, she didn't tell me corrupted at the time because she was working there and, uh, you know, we spent uh, probably close to twelve, fifteen thousand dollars $15,000 throughout, you know, to get some that uh, in the end, uh, of course, uh, you know, didn't get it and, uh, you know, we didn't get the custody and the child support went from 700 to almost 1300 that's one thousand three hundred dollars and uh, the custody was in you know was in uh, actually from 96 to 2000 anyway and we still have Omar and Hamza uh, go to school uh, Lancaster and then after that they uh, came 
and stay with us. Oh no, before that actually. Uh, they went from 1996 to 97 uh, with us and went to the Claremont um, Islamic School. It was a preschool for Hamza and uh, I think it was uh, first uh, first or second grade for Omar, I don't remember. And then uh, Jennifer took off in 97. Uh, September of 97 and then uh, mama uh, moved in with me my beloved mother-in-law and uh, stay with me for a minute you know for a while uh, because I was single dad and you know she stayed with me taking care of my boys when I was at work and then after that, uh, you know, they went to with Belinda because I found out that Jennifer is not coming back. Uh, she filed for divorce from Louisiana. But, <laughs> but anyway, so the, the reason I'm making this video not to, uh, you know, to uh, talk bad about anyone, it's just that that's what, what took place. Uh, I just wanted to show you how corrupt it is, our court system, and how biased against especially Muslim, Islamophobia, mostly are Jewish, that they are, they don't own or nothing, and they've been, we've been warned from our Quran, Dinullah, about how they are, you know, لا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله, we know, we أمت محمد, Ummati Muhammad, and we know what's going on, and uh, I just wanted to mention that, bring it to, to the attention of the FBI that they're trying to, uh, you know, kill me, basically. <laughs> Anybody that declare La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah, Ummati Muhammad, they want to eliminate. They don't want to have no one to you know, anyone that will declare that loud and clear uh, will be eliminated. They thought that they can do that, declare war against Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his messenger. Uh, just wanted to say that. Uh, now, the other, the other thing that I wanted to talk about also, uh, that... Oh, in that regard, the attorney that my ex hired, he was a Jew also, he sat one time for the judge because he was the most senior, I guess, yes, for the commissioner, or for the clerk, the collection clerk for the county of Los Angeles, county support. And he make decisions <laughs> as a commissioner, as a judge, in a case that he was attorney for the petitioner. I was a defendant, of course, I always have been and I'll always be. <laughs> According to the kangaroo court here and the injustice that is being done to everyone and everything. Okay, shaitanic system. Volume. But anyway, and I said that's a conflict of interest. One time I was going to smack that guy. <laughs> he got in my face, telling me how the cow ate the cabbage. I said, get, get you fucking, you know, excuse my language. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to use foul. But anyway, uh, yeah, he tried to tell me, uh, you know, stay there and and my attorney, she said, oh, well, I said, get this thing away from me. Uh, anyway, he make a decision uh, to, uh, I don't know, extension or whatever it is that time. And I said, that's a conflict of interest and that's the, didn't go well by anyone. But anyway, this is, uh, now the other thing that I want to talk about is the, the British, 
and the Zionist terrorist organization, what they did in the Middle East. Uh, they just hire their own dogs, puppets, to commit the crimes against Ummati Muhammad. And when Nasser Ammama or nationalize Suez Canal, it wasn't for the people, the Egyptian people. When he took the land from the, you know, the Iqtaiyin, the aristocrats that they were before, uh, you know, owning everything and having, you know, the farmers just work. It's like plantations here in, in the United States of America. Uh, you know, um, we know that. Cotton fields and all, all that stuff. It's the same was happening everywhere. And uh, Nasser... <laughs> he took it from the the Iqtaiyin Khidewis and all alright people that they just sold everything and enslaved the masses the Fara'ina and give it to the government and the government of course the elite were uh, slice and dice and own everything and enslave everyone and do it w legally <laughs> with the army <laughs> and after that the Amni Merkazi and we know the story now this is not only done in uh, in uh, the colonies but it's done everywhere in this country actually we experience in that the counties are they own everything and everyone uh, the state actually well the counties and that's why they fight you know they fight each other for the heads how many people you know that they're gonna take money in our names and they own everything eminent domain and all that uh, you know stuff and you know they own all the historic buildings and uh, you know there is no service given to people live in a certain area and, and you know it, it is the same it is the same everywhere Okay, why? Because Ummati Muhammad decided to sell out. Sell out. Well, and if he thought that we are uh, yeah, the, like. لا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله وما الله بغافل عما يعملون. Okay, and inshallah. Uh, the Nasr is very soon, very near. Allah and the Nasr will be very near. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. I just wanted to uh, make that video. And here is a train. Uh, I still have like 30 minutes to go. And um, anyway. I just wanted to say that. So uh, these two things, uh, and I will talk about that in the future too. Uh, one, one more thing about that uh, parcel in San Bernardino and Riverside, uh, uh, Kelly, uh, Kimber, and uh, you know the Kelly brothers and uh, real estate prudentials. And uh, you know when I went to there and I told them that I was uh, having. Uh, <laughs> County Riverside now they wanted to gouge me and uh, gouge in, in the city of Southland American Muslims uh, on a parcel that is running, you know, run the comps, comps. and it was like uh, 30 to 40,000 and they want to sell it for 80,000 they put the first bid <laughs> 80,000 anyway 8,000 square feet lot but, uh, and they thought that I am doing this for me, uh, you know, fonts, <laughs> thieves, anyway, here's a trick. Alrighty, that's it, I just wanted to, uh, like I said, Institute of Southland, American Muslims is not going to get anything, and we don't need any of you thieves, I'm competing with no one, and I am not trying to, uh, you know, to take Penis from you clowns, like uh, you know the institutes of this and institutes of that and mosque of this and you know 
anyway that's it السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته again أمة محمد لا إله إلا الله محمد رسول الله wake up and smell the coffee and taste the hummus السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته